Hi, my name is Ellen Anderson. Today I'm going to be focusing on using resin mixed in with different pigments and components to make a flow painting on your wooden canvas. So I've already mixed the resin. If you don't know how to do that, I would refer to our first video, Ellen Anderson Resin Obsession first tutorial video. But for the interest of time, I mixed it already. We also already poured all of our colors in. We'll be using an acrylic brand of paint I bought at Target. It's called Handmade Modern, and this is um, a metallic bronze. I'm also going to be using a deep sea satin paint of the same brand. I'll be using spray paint, Rust-Oleum Matte Cream Finish. I'll also be using more Rust-Oleum spray paint, a matte Robin's Egg Finish. And I'll be using Rust-Oleum Champagne Pink Finish. And last but not least, I'll be using a liquid silver leaf, the Krylon. So I've gone outside and taken a little of my spray paint and sprayed them into each cup. For safety's sake, you should always wear at least a little respirator when doing that. But I went ahead and pre-did it to make the video short. So I showed you all the colors I used and I put my white in my biggest container because I'm going to use the most of it. All right, now you're gonna give all of your paint and resin mixtures a good stir until they're the same throughout. Okay, now that we have all our colors mixed, I'm gonna just start pouring them on the board. All my white mixed with spray paint. And I might take my pink and run one of that through here. And around here. And just set this down flat to let the rest run out. acrylic mixture I think I'm gonna do it right through the center here and up the side there my bronze Take it off. Do a little white drizzle from my bronze. Take my robin's egg blue and do another little drizzling. Probably do some robin's egg blue up here on my teal and then to my pink. Follow that up with some gold. Mm, maybe do some gold down the middle of my teal and white here. To add some balance, a little more teal down here. I don't know what to do. just with my popsicle stick running it along there this I'm just going to extend to keep the flow of the piece
Now, I like my piece to continue just off the edges of my painting, so I always make sure that my sides are covered and in kind of the same color that is dripping down, which is a great thing you can do with the leftover resin here. down here. After I'm done with that, I scoop up the leftover resin and stick it in a coaster mold. I'm going to Okay, so once you have all your resin mixture poured all over your canvas and all of your sides covered, you take your torch, undo the safety, turn on the propane, got fire, and you're going to start torching this baby to get the bubbles out. Quick passes. places that you think it's a little boring, you can heat it up real quick. Hold your torch far away from you. And just blow it to give it a little bit of a different shape and often do cool things. Here, for instance, I'm probably going to give it another blow. Maybe more in this direction. For another instance is a little bit boring. So carefully not touching the painting with my clothes. Give it another blow. Straws can work too, but I find just my own breath more efficient. Just don't panic, be cool, quick and calm about it, and you'll do fine. I like to get the sides, get the drips that are just kind of hanging out there that aren't that great looking. Alright, now let's get through and just pop all the little mini bubbles. how this is already, how the paint just did it by itself. I think for the sake of balance, I'm going to blow this down a little bit.
Hi, again, I'm Ellen Anderson, and this has been my fourth tutorial video for Resin Obsession. If you have any questions, please comment on the Resin Obsession YouTube channel under my video, and I will do my best to answer them in a timely manner. I hope this video has helped a lot of you, and we have two more coming up. So, I'm excited to do those for you and share new techniques with you. You can find more of my art on Instagram at Ellen, E-L-L-E-N, Anderson, Art, or you can look on my Facebook at Ellen Malden Anderson, or my Facebook store. I do a couple of other things other than painting, um, furniture and antiques mainly, but it's called Past and Present, and Present has a Z. So I hope we'll check it out. Thanks.